Okay, so this is another Discord inspired tutorial that hopefully won't take very long at all. We're going to make this animated rainbow text in one node. Okay, as always, we're going to jump into Fusion. I've got my Fusion comp down here in my favourites. This clip is five seconds long, but when it's finished, you can have it as long as you want. So comp into Fusion. Okay, so we're in Fusion and we're going to bring in our massive node tree. So if you come up to your hotbar, come all the way to the left where you've got this letter T and drag it in. And that is our Fusion node tree for this effect. We're going to do everything in the text plus node. So first things first, put in something to work with. Can make it a bit bigger. And then we're going to come to the fourth tab along, which is the shading tab. In the shading tab, at the top you have shading elements and there are eight shading elements. If you click on the little arrow here, you get a list one to eight. The first four, so your solid white fill, which is your text. Ooh, sorry, solid white fill, which is your text. Red outline, black shadow and blue border are all predefined, but they're not fixed. You can change them. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to element number two. We're going to come to the word enabled and next to it you've got a checkbox just tick it and this sets up our first layer for us so the red outline the only change we're going to make is we're going to tick where it said outside only so next we're going to come back pick number three tick enable and number three as you may remember is the black shadow so we need to make a couple of changes to this one so come down to softness and drop softness to zero. And come down to position and change the offset values to zero. And now it's the same process. So we're gonna to come to where it says appearance and we're gonna check the second text outline. We're gonna to come to thickness and we're gonna add 0.2. So that makes it 0.04 and we're going to check outside only and now we're going to change it to the second color which in my case is going to be orange so I'm going to basically build a rainbow coming out like so so if we look closely now you can see we've got our red outline and our orange outline So same process, come to number four, which says blue box. It's in the right position, it's just the wrong appearance. So again, outline up by another point two, so we're up to point six. Outside only. And this one we're gonna make yellow. And then we're going to go down each of the elements, doing exactly the same, just changing the colour and increasing it by 0.2 each time. So we're up to 0.8 I believe. Outside only. And this one will be green. Six, we're up to 0.1, so outline. Point one, outside only, and we're on blue. Seven, outline. We're up to point one, two. 
outside only and we're going to make this indigo or we're going to make it a darker blue I don't actually know what the colour mix is for indigo but it's dark blue anyway and finally numbers 8 enable outline only 0.14 outside and violet again I don't know the official mix for violet but we'll go with 0.5 and 0.5 on red and blue so now we have our rainbow outline next part is to animate it this gets a bit fiddly so I'm going to do it once maybe twice and then I will whiz through and speed the rest up because the process is just repetitive so again with your text plus selected come to element 2 because if you remember element 1 is our text and we're not going to change that at the minute so element 2 is our red outline make sure your playhead is on frame 0 and just check the keyframe marker next to colour and that sets all your others now I'm going to come forward 6 frames or a quarter of a second at a time and I'm basically going to cycle through the rainbow so at frame 6 I'm going to go from red to orange so make it orange and you see that this automatically adds your keyframe here but what we need to do is make sure that we add the other keyframes in so that these colors don't change when we don't want them to so to frame 12 is yellow so you can bring your green up to make you yellow again it sets this keyframe but we need to make sure we set the others frame 18 green so again We've changed the red so it's set a keyframe, so we need to set the other keyframes. 24 blue. So we've changed the green and the blue, so it's set both those keyframes, so we just need to set the other two. 30 indigo. Again, we've got a keyframe set, so set the other three. 36 our violet set in the other keyframes as we go and then we do one more which will bring us to frame 42 and we go back to our original color which was the red and again fill in the keyframes next what we're going to do is we're going to come to our spline editor which is at the top here and we're going to select text so that we can see our keyframes and we're going to click on this icon that says zoom to fit and here you can see all our keyframes and the changes now we're going to simply drag and select all our keyframes and if you come down to the bottom of your spline window you've got all these icons and you want this one here which says set loop and now we can play that through and it will go through that cycle of colours indefinitely. So that's our first outline animated. So next we come up, we come at element 3, which is our orange, and we come back to frame 0 if we're not already there and we again set colour now we need to double click red, green, blue and alpha that just turns off the splines for shading element 2 and leaves our elements for shading element 3 and we're going to go through the same process we're going to work through the rainbow but this time we're starting at orange and we will come back to orange so orange is at frame 0 come to frame 6 we go to yellow again remembering to fill the keyframes in green 
Of course you don't have to do a rainbow, you can do whatever colour scheme you want. Blue. Did I miss a colour out then? Yellow, green, blue, indigo, filling in the keyframes, violet, and then we go round the corner and back to red. finally back to orange. So now we have the first two outlines animated and they're offset by half a second. Element 4, oh no sorry we didn't loop element 2 did we? So we're still on element 2, my bad. No, we're not. We're on element three. Catch yourself on, Simon. You're on element three. Same process. Zoom to fit. Drag and outline all your keyframes and then set to loop. And then you're going to repeat that for the remaining five shading elements. And I will do that, but I'm going to speed it up. So with everything animated and looped we can get rid of the spline view and now if we come back to frame zero and hit play we have our somewhat psychedelic text. What you can also do on your shading tab is if you come to element one which is your actual text you can change that to whatever colour you want or you can even make it totally transparent which is why on the other elements we were checking outside only so that the outline only comes beyond the text and not inside it and so you've got that effect now if you watch carefully the colours appear to be coming in from the outside to the middle. If you want it to go the other way, so from the inside out, which is what was in the original video, you can go wild and double your node count by selecting your text one node, hitting shift and spacebar and typing time speed. And this adds a time speed node in. All you need this for is to reverse the animation and to do that you come up to speed and you change 1 to minus 1 and now your text goes from the inside out. Personal choice as you wish. And then you come back to your edit window, let it cache which takes no time at all and there you have your effect. So. You can have it transparent, you can change whatever colour you want for your main text. And that's basically your effect. Um, let's say you can have your central text, whatever colour you want. I find a sort of greyish colour actually works quite well rather than pure white. But again, it's a personal choice thing. Play with it as you want. It gives you the basic idea. Not sure what you're going to use it for, but it's quite funky. 
And there you have it. As always, hope you found it helpful, informative, entertaining, maybe, who knows. Please feel free to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you on the next one.